Hey guys, it's Tiff back again, and we have a little bonus video today. Bonus video using collage. And what I had when I went to my work desk, which is a hella mess, is I had all kinds of little random giblets and pieces and parts and little bitty pieces of paper everywhere. So I thought, why not do a quick collage page and just slap it down and kind of see where that goes. And so I knew that I wanted, just based on the papers that were there, I wanted to have a very neutral um, color and kind of lack of color um, per se. And so you saw the little black and white photo that I had of the girl that I burned her face or burned her body. I'm not really sure. I guess that's probably pretty weird. But anyway, um, it was on my desk, and I really wanted to use her. However, she does not make the cut. So I'm simply using a Uhu glue stick, and this page took me about 14 or 15 minutes. And I sped it up a little bit for you guys. And I wanted some of the edges not to be stuck down. So I purposely kind of peeled up. Um, and rolled up the edges there. So I really like, you can see a little bit of the coral color on the background of that um, envelope that I had right there. Just like a very slight pink, like peachy color. I'm not even sure if you can make it out on the video because um, the angle that it's at. But I love how that very light kind of, um, what color is that? mint. That mint color is pretty much the only color that we're going to use today. And I'm taking a wet paintbrush just to roll that paper up a little more because I think it creates a little dynamic and dimension without a ton of hard work. So now I'm just dibble dabbling with images and going back and forth. And this part is just like a little trial, you know? What's gonna happen? And then I just slap some old gesso down with my finger. Just wilding out with the gesso guys and the scribbles because you know how I roll. And I am still wanting so badly to use this picture. I tore it and I moved it and I wiggled it and I jiggled it and all of the things. And it still was not doing what I wanted to do. And that's how it is some days, right? So I am going to finally just say to heck with it and put it to the side and then go back and... um you know, come back around and find another image that works better. And the only way that I know how to tell you guys is it's a gut thing. Like, I, when I lay something down that works very good, um, it's just hard. It's like I feel it in my gut when I see it and it feels right. So, I know that's not the easiest answer, but once you play in your journal or you play in art enough, you know what you like and what kind of feels good. And so, you got to go and you got to listen to that and make that work. So, I'm taking another little giblet here and I'm going to, does it ever make the cut? I don't think that will make the cut either. Some days it's like that. And then before I know it, I have more giblets and pieces and parts than I had before I even started cleaning up my desk. Because, you know. And then these cutesy girls right here. Love them. They, when I put it down there, it just, I don't know if it's because of the bold burn in that other photo that I didn't really love. I don't really know what, what the deal was and why why it happened to work out like that. But what I do know is that I love it now. 
and I knew as soon as I put it down there that that's where it was meant to be. So I just took that little um, hole that was in there, I punched it a while ago, and then just added a little smidge of, I believe, that is cheesecloth. And now I'm taking this very dried instant coffee packet. And it come out in a lump when it's really supposed to be crystals. I don't know if that's the humidity. I don't really know what caused that. But I'm going with it. And I'm just adding a very dibble dabble. Just a little dibble dabble here of color. And if you're looking for the words that I use in the di dictionary, you'll never find them. And so after I did a little dibble dabble of the coffee that just kind of makes everything pop, I was like, yes, I think it needs one extra little bit. And that bit would be some type of fabric. And then the Uhu glue stick wouldn't hold it down. So I ended up grabbing the gel medium and slapping it down. So, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this quick little video today. I hope it inspired you to get into your studio, grab your supplies, and slap some stuff down. It doesn't always have to be about layer after layer of paint. It can just be about glue and stuff. So, I hope that you will click the subscribe button, leave me a comment, and don't forget, guys, Soul Food, my brand new class, which you can find linked below, goes live very shortly. Until next time, toodaloo!